Okay, so yesterday we learned to solve absolute value equations, and today we're also going to learn how to solve absolute value equations, except this time, instead of having a single number on this right-hand side, we're going to have an expression. So we're going to learn to solve them with an expression. So just like yesterday, our first goal is to get this absolute value by itself, and we've already done that. And after we get the absolute value by itself, we're going to split into two different equations. One is going to be my positive side, and one's going to be my negative side. So my positive side will just be 2z minus 3 equals 4z minus 1. And my negative side would be 2z minus 3. It just stays the same. And this will switch both its signs, so negative 4z and positive 1. So again, if you look, I have to switch both my signs. So that becomes a negative, and that becomes a positive. And now we'll go through and solve. So this left-hand side, I'm going to add 3 to both sides of 2z equals 4z plus 4. I'll subtract 4z. That'll give me negative 2z equals, oh, that should have been up here, that should have been a 2, because negative 1 plus 3 equals 2, so that'll give me a 2. I'll divide by negative 2. I'll divide by negative 2. z will equal negative 1. So that's one of my potential answers. And we'll talk about why that's only a potential answer in a second. So then I'll go back over here, and I'll solve this other side. So I'll add 3, and I'll get 2z equals negative 4z plus 4. I'll add 4z, and I'll get 6z is equal to 4. I'll divide by 6, and I'll get z is equal to, well, 4 divided by 6 is like 0.6 repeating, or if you simplify the fraction, 2 thirds. So this is my other potential answer. And again, the reason I say it's only a potential answer for both of these is because if you look at the top, and if you remember yesterday, this side can't be negative. If that side's negative, then this, this absolute value can never equal a negative number, so it doesn't work. So we have to go through and we have to check our answers every single time to see if they're what's called an erroneous answer. So I'm going to take this thing and plug it back into the beginning. So my original equation was the absolute value of 2, and instead of writing z this time, we'll write negative 1 plus 3. That was actually a minus 3, so minus 3 equals 4 times negative 1 minus 1. So that was my original equation, and all I did was I just plugged in that answer into there, and we are just going to check. So 2 times negative 1 would give me negative 2 minus 3. This would give me negative 4 minus 1. And we would get negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is equal to negative 5. Or that positive 5 is equal to negative 5. And we'd say, whoops, that doesn't work. So, because when I plug in negative 1, I get that negative 5 equals a positive 5, which we know is not true, we would say that is not an answer. 
So now we'll check the second answer to see if it is. So we'll take the exact same equation that we start with. And plug in my two thirds. When we plug this in, I'll have four thirds minus, and I'm just going to change that three thirds into nine thirds. So they have like bases. And I'll have eight thirds minus three thirds, because one can become three over three. This would become negative five thirds. This would become five thirds. And the absolute value of negative five thirds is five thirds. So I have five thirds equals five thirds. So that answer works out. So if I go back up here, I would say that this two thirds is a correct answer because when we plugged it in, everything worked out. So that's how you solve absolute values with an expression on a side. You first break it up like we did yesterday. You solve the problem. You'll end up getting two answers. After you get two answers, you need to plug them in to check if they're the correct answer. And we can see that that negative one produced a bad solution. But when I put in the two thirds, it produced a good solution. So try some of these problems and see if you can get how many answers you get for each.